What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all joining me. In today's video guys, if you guys can read, we are talking about vinyl wrapping. More importantly, asking one main specific question here guys. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I've already made a video on vinyl wrapping before on tips, tricks, and what to expect. Actually, that's, that's what it's titled. So if you wanna check that out, this video here guys is talking about how long the vinyl wrapping process takes for vehicles. Now behind me, you guys can see, I have my 2013 Subaru STI and I have my 2018 F-150, both of which are on their second color. This is 3M's Perfect Satin Blue and this right here is Cheetah Wraps Gloss Sandstone, guys. Now, like I said, both vehicles are on their second color, so I can tell you guys how long typically it takes to a vinyl wrap either your four-door sedan or your pickup truck. So real quick, let's go over some basics on vinyl wrapping. This is how they come in if you order a large roll. Uh, typically, the default size is five foot tall, and then however much you order is how much it extends outwards. Vinyl wrap is essentially one giant sticker, guys. And that five foot height is, is going to be enough to do your car. So let's go ahead and start with my four-door sedan vehicle, as I'm assuming most of you have and are trying to wrap. Um, starting first, guys, with the big main step is cleaning your car, guys. That is the giant first initial step you must do when it comes to vinyl wrapping your car. I'm talking spick and span, guys. I'm talking the spit and shine. I'm talking the two-bucket method. Clay it, wax it, let that surface be as smooth as possible because vinyl wrap will show all those imperfections. Now I'm trying to see if I have any, oh man, it's probably gonna be hard to tell on here, but vinyl wrap has a really good way of showing any little tiny bumps, debris, dirt, whatever it is that's on your, that's on the surface of your car will show up on the vinyl. So it's crucial that you clay it down and that you have all the contaminants off the vehicle. The next thing is sections, guys. One of the tough parts that I struggled with when it comes to vinyl wrapping your car is determining the length and determining if you could share certain pieces with other components of the car. For example, the fender. If you look at the fender, guys, it is pretty much a tiny, not tiny, but it's rectangular. And remember, their vinyl wrap roll is five feet tall, so it's a good way to use one half of that wrap on one fender and the bottom half on the other side of the fender guys so you have to get a little creative with it you have to figure out uh, and measure out certain bits and pieces to see if you can kind of combine knock two birds with one stone and saving yourself some wrap guys because wrap does go by quick especially if you are a beginner you will run through your roll very quickly guys let's go ahead and get down to the hours guys the numbers this is, this is the information you guys want to hear right now so man hours for vinyl wrapping a car or but as I said, any component you're about to do, you're going to do the hood, you're going to do the fenders, clay it. It must be clayed. Typically, that takes for me around 30 minutes or so to clay a component. Um, make sure it has to be completely dry, by the way, guys. Any water vinyl wrap does not like. If there's any water left, you didn't, maybe you forgot to dry this part inside of here, it will not stick no matter how hard you try. And it's a pain in the butt. Disassembly. That's the next big one. That's the one part I hate about vinyl wrapping is disassembling. You do need to take out door handles. You gotta pop off. Sometimes you gotta pop off mirrors. Sometimes you gotta pop off door trims. But definitely door handles. The tail lights. The headlights. The bumper sometimes. I mean, you just gotta take the car apart pretty much, man. Depending on how well you want the car done is going to depend on how much time you put into the prep work. So since I have vinyl wrapped this car twice already, I pretty much know the ins and outs when it comes to t disassembling the car to vinyl wrap it. For example, the door card. In order to remove the door handle, you must remove all your door cards. And typically, they're little hidden screws. You pop those off, and then they're clips. You remove the clips, you unhook the lock mechanism, you unhook the latch door uh, handle mechanism you unplug the electronics usually here and then you're able to finally pry off the door once you have the door pried off then you have access to the inside door and there's a little plastic film you pull that off and you have to mess around with the mechanisms pop off the the keyhole bit and then you can slide out the door handle this usually takes me around 20 minutes to remove 
That one's the hardest. I hate these. When you have a door, when you have the keyhole, much more complicated. These, this is bread and butter, guys. I can remove these back doors. It's easy. Probably like in 15 minutes. So there you go. Disassembly, guys. Doors could take you 30 minutes, could take you an hour, but that varies entirely on your skill level and, of course, how well you know your vehicle and how well you want your vinyl wrap done, too. Let's go ahead and talk about the components that are the easiest to start off with. For me, fenders. Very easy to do because there's not much you have to do for disassembly. You may have to pop off a few clips just to remove the bumper and scoot it off. This is this comes from the factory like this guy, just don't worry about it. But other than that, fenders are super easy. Hoods, very easy to do. Um, for me, typically this hood took me about an hour and a half because I did have to remove the hood scoop, uh, the actual hood scoop, and there are some clips and stuff that you need to take off. I did have to remove my, my uh, windshield nozzles. I never put those back on, but more aerodynamic, whatever. So that's typically an hour, hour and a half. Fenders, super easy. Uh, they, for me, took me about 30 minutes to do one side, the other side another 30 minutes. So that was about an hour for the fenders, hour and a half for the hood. These are typically the bits that I like to start off with because, like I said, disassembly is very minimal and wrapping level is kind of straightforward, you know? It's, it's nothing, no crazy curves. So moving from the fenders and hood, where I typically start off with, we go to the quarter panel. Uh, I don't actually do the quarter panel. I simply get the roll of vinyl and I lay it out. And like I said, it's one piece that has to extend all the way out to here. I do a little bit more so that way I can use that bottom half that we don't have to do for the quarter panel for the doors. And with that said, we then move on to our doors. Now you would think doors are easy to do and they are. Super easy, flat surface, lay it down, stretch it out, glass it out, and just squeegee. With the heat gun in your hand, you're able to just fill in this little indent for the door handle. But the only reason why I do these after the fender and hood is because this assembly, like I said, guys. You gotta pop off all your door handles. That means take off your door cards, disassemble the mechanisms, and pop off the door handles. That is the reason why I put doors for second place to get me in the mood for disassembly. We're not counting disassembly time, guys, but front doors typically take me about an hour to do. It may be a flat surface, but you do have to do a lot of trimming around. And depending if you take off the window trim, you have to tuck it very nicely. Same goes for when mirrors, you gotta pop these off in order to get those back corners. But typically, front door takes me about an hour. Rear door takes me about an hour as well. Again, we're not counting disassembly. Next up, the quarter panels, guys. These are really time consuming because a lot of detail. The only disassembly in here involved is tail lights. Rear bumper, not really. You can kind of get away with tucking it inside of that little crevice. You kind of need to follow along the window seal, tuck that in. You do need to remove roof rails if you do have those on your vehicle. Roof rails and tail lights. Everything else you can kind of tuck away, open the doors if you need to access those inside corners. With your doors open, you're able to access and get nicer cuts. That's bad. Um, but quarter panel typically took me about two hours, two and a half hours to do. I know, that's a long time, but uh, like I said, this is a very time consuming process. That is only vinyl wrapping, guys. Two and a half hours of vinyl wrapping. I'm not talking disassembly, washing, prepping, cleaning, all that good stuff. So once you get to this stage, typically you've already removed your roof rails. The last thing you need to do to have that nice, smooth, finished surface is to remove my antenna. Assembly for this is a pain in the ass because you do have to remove the headliner in order to access the bolt that holds your antenna in. So that typically took me around 30 minutes to 40 minutes to do. And final wrapping the roof itself, we'll put it on an hour and a half max time here, but it's pretty easy when you have a flat surface. Uh, it's really time consuming doing the corners and as well as tucking in the wrap behind the glass seals uh, just to get that clean finish. So hour and a half for the roof, guys. Next up is the front bumper. Now remember I said we use two pieces here um, to do the bumpers. You can kind of, out of one vinyl roll sheet, depending on your length, you can pull out the front bumper and the rear bumper to do it. So you can save some wrap doing that. But 
front bumper is a little bit more costly guys as you do have to take stuff off you do have to do inlays as you can see my inlay starting to come off i had to take out my front lip i had to take off this bumper vent uh, i had to remove this front grill piece to vinyl wrap in there so this assembly was about an hour and a half to do and the actual vinyl wrapping took me around two hours this is i'm not very good at front bumpers or bumpers in general i don't like doing that curve and then having a nice straight finished edge difficult for me but still manageable um, so like I said, it took me two hours to do the front bumper. Let's go ahead and roll to the back. Same applies for here, guys. Rear bumper took me around two hours to do, uh, especially this bit over here. It's super detailed. I, can't, I didn't even do it right. It doesn't look good, but we did it just to have uniform color going around. Rear bumper was another two hours. Of course, you do have to disassemble taillights. You do have to do an inlay on this bit over here. Um, you do have to pop off these vents down here, the exhaust, little uh, garnish shield thing there, pop all that off guys. So this assembly was like another hour and final wrapping two hours. Rocker panel, you don't really need to disassemble. Uh, actually it's probably just more loosening stuff so that you can have more access to the rocker panel. But rocker panel took me about an hour and a half to complete um, this little fender grill thing here pops off this was quick that was 30 minutes and I think that is it folks that is it for a vinyl wrap in your car if I do my math right 20 22 hours to thoroughly vinyl wrap the entire car here from bumper to bumper um, there, of course there are certain things that I've skipped over like the wing I left the wing the original color DGM, however, I did vinyl wrap the ends uh, just to kind of make it uniform. My trunk is a Cybon carbon fiber trunk, so there was no need to vinyl wrap this thing. Having a carbon fiber trunk saved me the hassle. There you have it, guys. That is the vehicle wrap time process for my 2013 STI. Hopefully, this information will serve and help you out in determining when you want to wrap your car and maybe have a week off work. Hmm? But for me, Wrapping my STI from start to finish was about a week and a half. But for me guys, I was not consistent. Uh, I did one day, I was working two hours. Another day I did four hours. So I was not consistent with time guys, but I'm sure if you put your time and effort into vinyl wrapping your car, you can probably knock it out in about four days, five days, uh, including disassembling, cleaning, prepping, all that good stuff guys. So hopefully you learned something here guys. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you have your vehicle that you're trying to wrap, leave that info down below. If you have any questions too, I'll be happy to answer as best as I can, guys. Other than that, I appreciate you all watching up to this point. Peace and have a good time, guys. And good luck on your wrap.